Let's take a first look at the all new Keystone Hideout 250BH. Right away, you're going to see we have over 70 inches in height here on the ceilings. In a travel trailer, that's a big thing because roominess really goes not only left to right, but also up and down. So having this is a great feature. We have a campsite kitchen with the L-shaped counter that runs almost the entire length of the trailer if you take a look at. Plenty of prep space. You got a countertop here with the molded, rounded edges, so you're not going to worry about bumping into those corners. One of the things I used to always hate was catching my pocket on those hard corners, or the kids as they're running in and out, one of them hitting it. So, small creature comforts, that's the things you want to check out. Got my power control center right here, so I can run out my slide, I can run out my awning, check my tanks, how's my battery, how's the fresh tank looking, the gray tanks, cut on my water heaters and my pumps. Plus, I have a campsite window and another campsite window split on both sides of my flush mounted three burner cooktop with the glass cover and grill style grate. I'm a big fan of these because it makes the pots and pans, it makes it so much easier to move around than when they were just the little single silos over the burners. Oh, it's off? Oh, sure. So moving things around just makes life so much easier. And if you need a uh, little accent light, you got the LED light here on the controls, right here on the burners. That is a great night light. So if you need to get up and go to the bathroom, you don't have to worry about cutting on the overhead lights. You can just cut that on. You got your Furion oven right there. Solid construction on Keystone too. You're gonna notice like right here with the graphite style fixtures, solid wood on the full extension ball bearing drives. Just good, solid construction. More prep space as I come up over here. I got my power port if I wanna make a coffee station. I got my 70-30 split sink that's deep well. Brush nickel high rise faucet with the angled sprayer there. And you always gotta have space because the space is a premium when you're talking about an RV. So this could be for a trash can, this could be for your grab and go bag. It can really be for whatever you want because the, the great thing about RVs is it's your RV. So sure, this is a kitchen. This could be the place where you prep. And this could be the drawer where I put my utensils. But you know what, at the end of the day, it's, it's your RV. You're buying it, you're the one that's gonna use it for whatever you want. And if you wanna set this up as a hunting cabin or as a fishing cabin, or, or you just wanna put it at the beach and, and come live in it when, you, when, when you're down at the beach, if this is where you're gonna put your fishing lures, put your fishing lures there. It's your RV, you can do with it what you want. Shaker style cabinets up here on the top, plus we've got the frosted glass inlay that are backlit, and just take a look at the shelf space that we have right there. Good spot for the cans, the stackable dishes, your cups, pantry items. If you wanted to put your, you know, whatever, your boxes of cereal or your toolbox, why not? It's your RV. Have fun with it. That's what it's all about. Coming back more towards uh, the, the entrance, I, I wanted to kind of start with the kitchen first and then go to the entertainment center so you could see how everything kind of flows. Now, if I'm right here and I'm doing my prep and I'm doing my stuff, I have plenty of space behind me. So if somebody wants to walk to the fridge or if they want to come just hang out with me, they got a spot, set your drink down, tell me about how everything's going out at the beach, how to go with the fishing trip, what's it looking like. You got a huge space for a TV right here with its own mounting bracket, power port, plus you got your cable connection right here, as well as your connections there. So plenty of space to put a large TV. And right underneath, we have our Furion AM FM Command Center. Now this is also dual zone, so for the speakers outside, you can control it here. But you'll notice you got USB and HDMI. Got your connections there. Lift this up so you can see the storage that comes out right behind the fireplace. That's a good hideaway spot. So if you're looking for a place to put those Girl Scout cookies you don't want somebody else to have, they're your favorites, got you right there. Because the kids won't know. They Look, you hide the Christmas presents right there. They won't know. It's behind the fireplace. And having these fireplaces, now sure, you got great AC, you got 
a wonderful heater inside this unit and the duct system that they have, the way that Keystone does their ducting, the joints are reinforced with these tough locks. The tough locks makes it so not only do you not have any soft spots in the floor, but it, it distributes the air evenly and more efficiently. So you sit there and you think, okay, well, I got a great heater. What do I need a fireplace for? When you sit back on a cold night, maybe you're at the beach, at the mountains, get the breeze blowing, get a little chill in the air. This here has multiple flame settings and multiple temperature settings, plus a blower. And you got the backlit crystals down there. You got the blues, the reds, the oranges, whatever color you want to put on there. And that nice little warm air is blowing. You're sitting over here on the couch. Before you know it, it's morning time. You didn't even realize that you knocked out. Great feature to have inside any camper is going to be a fireplace. Trust me on that. Walk back over here. We got slip resistant residential style flooring. On the campsite here in the rear, probably my favorite part of this camper are these double over double bunks. You're going to notice you got large window right there on the back, plus you got a charging port. These are 300 pound capacity bunks right here. And you got the thick three inch fuzzy mattress. These are comfortable. You could easily get two adults up there, fluffy and comfortable. And down here on the bottom, you're going to see you have another power port. You even have storage under here. So if you needed a good spot for fishing rods, maybe your bags, hunting gear, cases, whatever, look at the space that you have down there to store the stuff. Or the kids' toys, the games, the beach chairs, the beach towels, whatever you may need, you got space there. And to help you get up and down on this unit, we got the solid mounted ladder right here. And beside that, your GE control system for your air conditioning and your heat. Now, the only thing I will say about that, because you know how kids are, you got to make sure and tell them, don't touch the controls when you're on the bunks. I'm going to set the temperature when I go to bed. You touch it, I'm going to take your bike away. They will end up eventually coming over and messing with it to do their own thing. But at the end of the day, it's, it's fine. It's all about having fun. Graphite style decor inside this camper too so a good combination of the dark on light solid door walking in here to the rear off campsite bathroom where i have my angled bowl which is porcelain solid with the foot flush and right away i mean with me i'm, I'm six foot two so i have plenty of room right here not only for my legs but i'm not cramped up top either got countertop space here plus a power port if i needed to plug anything in single basin sink with the brush nickel fixtures there got me a little storage down underneath and another great feature i don't know if you can see that or not the you see how the pipes are color coded red and blue keystone color codes everything inside all of their campers so even the wires are color coded why do they do that well it's easier to fix if something breaks but easier to find if you need to find something and speaking of finding we're going to talk about key tv when i get outside here in just a few minutes single surround shower plenty of headroom here i have the powered vent fan right here if i needed to open that up and cut that on absolutely could to help get the steam out of there in the shower i have the curved shower curtain bar which when you close the curtain just gives you more room you're not cramped left and right. You're not cramped up and down. I got my little corner notches over here to make sure if I need to put my soaps, my shampoos, whatever. I got the space for that right there. And I got my shower nozzle and handle right here. So if I wanted to move around a little bit, do my thing, I absolutely could. But good space here, both up and down and left to right. I'm not cramped at all. And you know, that's, that's really one of the key features about RVs. It's the little things. And we have a lot of people who are seeing RVs for the first times. So they're experiencing how great the lifestyle is. And let me touch on that real quick. Look for one that has creature comforts that you want from your home. We have people standing by right now that are going to walk you through RVs and answer questions for you. I wish that I could talk to you individually to answer your questions because you probably have some about a bunk model. Well, what happens if, you know, what, you know, what about the bunks here? What if we do are these good for dogs? Bobby? Yes, absolutely they are. But you have questions I can't hear. So Easy RV is going to help you with that. You have something you want to see. Hey, Chris, what about this? Well, what about, can I change? Can I do this? The questions 
We will answer them. All you got to do is text Easy RV to 32094. Leave a comment down below. Easy RV. Or just give us a call, 866 853 3510. We have people standing by right now that can walk you through virtually, let you see every little nook and cranny of any RV that we have that you want to see. They're going to answer your questions. You say, all right, what about financing? What, what's the rates look like right now? How long can I finance? What are my options? We have people standing by to help you with that as well. They're going to answer all of that for you. Then they're going to mail you the documentation. Stuff's going to be, the prepaid envelopes are included, so you don't even have to pay for a stamp to get it back to us. Stuff's already in there. We got you covered on that. Going to make sure that it's as easy as possible. When you pick out the one you want, go through the financing. We got somebody who's going to bring it to you, set it up for you, and give you that same walkthrough that you would get at Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors. Same professional way. You don't even have to leave the comfort of your couch or your camp chair. So, if you got the questions, now's the time to ask them. Don't wait. Don't delay. So many people are getting on RVs right now. So many people are exploring the country. They're seeing how great it is to get out there and reconnect with each other inside of an RV. It's the safest and greatest way to travel. You get to take your home with you. I mean, come on, man. You've been paying for hotel rooms and flights and all this other stuff. Forget that noise. Get yourself an RV. You're going to thank me later. You're going to say, you know what? We went to the beach and it was nice coming back to our own stuff as opposed to somebody else's stuff. That's just me though. We got ourselves a solid shaker style cabinet right here for our pantry slash ward storage. You're going to see we got it set up right here with the ward hanger there. Got our circuit box down below. But Keystone is great for innovations. They're always thinking, they're always changing. They're listening to what people say and they say, okay, we'll try to implement those changes. One of the things that they implemented that I liked over here on the off camp slide is our jackknife sofa. Plush, comfortable, puffy, just soft. I feel like I'm being hugged by grandma right now. This is a great spot to sleep. But what about some storage? You think, you know, usually we put a couple of things under the sofa if we can get them. I got you. They have underneath the jackknife sofa pull out storage that has its own hinges. So if you say, you know what, we need some good spaces to put some good stuff. Guess what? This is a good spot for you to put your good stuff. Is that good enough? It should be. This was a really cool idea. It's vented. So if you needed to put something in there that needed ventilation, you have that option. I don't know what that might be, but somewhere somebody's sitting there and going, I could put the maters in there. Yeah, yeah, why not? Go for it. You absolutely could. When you're done, slide that back away. This kicks out into a bed. You can sleep. And if you notice, we have the holes right here in the floor because you're looking around and you're saying, well, where's the table? Where's the dinette? Do you need it? Do you really need it? Some people do, some people don't. That's the great thing about RVs too, is you have options on the floor plan. These holes are for the poles that hold the table. So the table you can take out and move away, but when you're ready to sit down, enjoy the fireplace and watch some TV, you got a spot that you can put your table right here. When not, you can just store it away underneath the camper. It just gives you the option. And that's a great thing about RVing, you have some options. You gotta watch your head a little bit because if you notice the, the slides they're not quite six feet um, so another option to think about when you're looking at travel trailers you know ask the specialist who's going to give you that walkthrough hey how tall is that am i going to hit my head come over here to the 10 cubic foot fridge and you're going to see good space for those long trips you're going to have plenty of space put the drinks put the food it's a good spot. Norcold is a good fridge too. <clears throat> Make our way to the master bedroom. Got myself a solid pocket door right here. This is a walk around. So when you're getting up, you don't have to worry about, you know, climbing over somebody to get up and out. Plus, if you notice over here, we got the mirrored ward storage on both sides. Plus I have my nightstand space. I have a power port there. So if I need a reading light or a CPAP machine, I could easily plug that in there. I have my raised shelf here so I can get some storage. A little push button LED reading light. So if I want to do some reading at night, I could. Large comfy bed. I have storage underneath there here as well. 
And if you see, there's a mesh bag with a hose in it. I'm gonna show you what that goes to here in just a minute. Oh, and there's the poles for the table too. Walk around over here to the campsite, large window, got another power port, some more ward storage. And you notice I got a little, got a little pull tab right there. What is that for? Oh, look, it's a laundry chute. So you come back from the beach or whatever, you got the dirty clothes and your wife says, you are not putting that in here. There's no way those are staying inside this room. Put your laundry basket through the pass-through storage, throw your stuff in there, boom. She might be happy with that. It's a beautiful thing to have, good option to have. So you wanna mount a TV inside this unit. Right here behind us is the LCD mounting bracket plus our connections there. And for me, I'm, I'm not a fan of having a TV in the bedroom. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, do we have it and do I have to have it? Sure. Take that as you want it. it having the option though, especially when you, need, you know, you're out and about, maybe you want to check the local weather, the local news, having that option is a really good thing. And with Keystone having the key TV, the multi-source connection all into one, if you have you know, cable or if you have you know, the, the local or satellite or cable, you're not gonna be chasing those wires throughout the camper to hook it up. You've pretty much just got one spot. Plug it in and boom, that goes to all the outlets inside the camper. So good night's sleep in here. Plus the solid door is gonna give us some good sound absorption. We're not gonna have to worry about uh, you know, hearing the kids rustle, uh, rustle all about while they're running around. I showed you that little mesh bag in the storage. That's a vacuum hose and the vacuum attachments because this unit comes with its own central vac system called RoadVac. There's a collection point underneath in the storage area where when you vacuum, you got a 25 foot hose that comes with this unit and it'll pretty much reach every corner of the camper, allow you to get this thing clean and keep it clean, a vacuum cleaner in your camper. Yes, absolutely. So we're going to make our way outside and you're going to see as we walk through the friction hinge door, we got the solid Morai steps coming down and the mounted handle too. Having this mounted and solid, great option, solid steps as well. You got the furry friends that are going to join you on the camping trip. We got you covered there too. You got the Keystone doggy latch right there. Put your leash around, make sure they're not going to run off at the campsite because you might be at a spot where you know, you don't know the safety of the area. Having that, great feature. Now, you saw how beautiful and big that kitchen was inside this 250BH. You gotta have the external kitchen as well. Because, let's say you get finished hunting, get finished fishing, you think, oh man, I got myself a great catch. Do your prep work right here, slide this out. This little capital grill with the two burner right here slides out. These arms fold out to give you some support. And boom, do your grilling, do your cooking right there. You got your pots and pans, you're good to go. When you're all said and done, just close it up, slide it in. You're gonna notice right here, for an entry level travel trailer, this one comes with powered front and rear leveling jacks. That, at this price point, it's great. Trust me, because setting up is a pain if you do not have power tongue jack and power leveling jacks. Now, we got the external kitchen, which is a good space to entertain. You see, I got my dual zone speakers out here with the blue LED lights behind them. We got the large awning, which is a Solera arm, which is adjustable, you can adjust the pitch, but it's got the long LED running light, the beautiful light and dark graphics. Got our fresh water connection right here, just past our 15 inch aluminum wheels with the Dexter Easy Lube axles on them. And you're gonna notice that extra wide berth right there in the suspension. That's going to help you, you know, with the rocking back and forth, the, the shifting of the trailer. Having that, if you've never towed before, having that is a great feature. Because um, Keystone knows they're going to put that good suspension in there and the good tires, good axles, so that A, your weight's going to be easier to pull. You want to set up a TV outside, got your connection right there, as well as your power port front portion of the powered leveling jacks. Once again, just such a great feature to have. You got your finished off pass-through storage right here. Now, when we had the little push tab open in the master bedroom, this is where that area came to. I don't know if you can see up there, I got that 
opened up, but this is where that little laundry chute would come to. But good spot for your fishing gear, your hunting gear. If you needed to put your stuff away, boom, you got it right there. This one is also set up for the side cameras. And we have backup camera too, which I'll show you that on the back. But this is set up if you wanted to get the side camera, you could. And what that does is when you're driving down the road, you hit the blinker, you can see that side of the road. Great feature to have. Aluminum travel trailer. Got that super flex roof going all the way over the top. Diamond plated rock guard right here on the bottom. Twin 20 pound LP tanks up front. Powered tongue jack. This to me is a must. Whatever travel trailer you get, when you ask your specialist uh, at Gander, at Camping World, say, hey, I texted Easy RV to 32094. Show me that travel trailer. Does it have a power tongue jack? Ask it. Make sure you ask it. Other side of the pass through trailer right here, one of the most important parts of any travel trailer is going to be this info panel right here because you're going to see unloaded vehicle weight for this one, 6,130 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,800 pounds. Ask your specialist when you get them through Easy RV. What does that mean? Here's what my truck can tow, but what does that mean for me? Is my vehicle right for this? More importantly, is this one right for me? Got my terminations down here, aka our dumps. You can see right there. Got our gray handle here to pull. Got the true fit slide right here. This is where that jackknife sofa is. We have our 30 amp retractable power cord right here. When you're done, that just rolls back in. City water connection, as well as our other terminations right here. The black tank, the gray tank. We come around to the rear. There's our cable input. Got a spare tire mounted, a 4x4 sewer hose storage back here on the back too. Just those little things, those little features that'll help out when you're talking about coming around to your camper. And you remember I mentioned the, the backup camera? That's it right there. This is prepped for backup camera, so just talk to your specialist too about how do I get that. And you're going to notice those arch ceilings and those three inch rubber nozzles on both sides. That's going to help keep the elements, the rain, the snow off of the camper and those nozzles are going to make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slide. But for a camper that is entry level for, I don't, see, I don't even like saying entry level because it has so many amenities, has so many features. Um, in a travel trailer that's lightweight, it's a bunkhouse, can sleep the family, can feed the family and entertain the family. This is one that if you're looking to sleep six people or more, if you say, you know what, Chris, we just need something to set up as a cabin hunt somewhere. I just need something that, you know, the ladies want to take for the weekend getaways. We want to go to the beach. We want to enjoy. We want to have some fun. And we need some of those amenities at home. I got to tell you, when you take a look at a bunkhouse model, hideout is a great brand. <laughs>